Hi guys, I'm going through some of the junk in my room. Some of you may remember this hovercraft that I was working on and I'd planned to replace the motors that I was using which are cheap vibrating toothbrush motors with specially ordered from eBay There we go. Some of these Hubsan replacement motors. I've got some Hubsan propellers to go with them. So these are actually designed to work on 3.7 volts, a LiPo battery. So I shall see if I can fit them. One of the problems I was getting with these motors was when they overheat the hot glue that I was using to hold them in place goes soft and they go out of alignment. So this time with these motors I'm going to rig up a little four-way mounting for them but I'll use epoxy glue, two-pack epoxy to glue them in place. And I'll stick them in there I'll just try them to see if it gives us enough lift first of all and then we'll worry about whether we can put the radio control back on it again and a motor to push it forwards. So this will just be to see if we get enough power from them to lift it. Well, that's the first one. We'll let that dry and see if it works. That's the first one in place. We'll just have to make sure that we get all four of them in and then we can try them. Ready for a quick test flight. I've actually tested it once already and it is ridiculously powerful. Um, those old toothbrush motors that I had on there had no power at all. These tiny motors on here are so much more powerful, it's ridiculous. Um, I've got my gloves on because I've got no protection on those propellers. So when it rises up, I've got to try and hold it down again.
sadly that battery's not fully charged. As you could tell it was running down quite rapidly there. But that is so much more powerful than the original motors. I'm going to have to put a ESC on there, electronic speed controller, so that I can trim it down a bit. Still, that's a success. <laughs> that's a ridiculous success. One reason for the ridiculous amount of power there is that's the wrong battery. That's a 2S two, two or 2S, so obviously that's given them 7.4 volts instead of 3.7 volts. So even though they're all in parallel, they're still going to be getting far too much power going through them. So that won't be the battery I use eventually, even if I put a speed controller on there. It'll just be a single cell, not a dual cell, 2S.